What's good everyone? Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to Investing with Jax. Today I wanted to talk about Caster Maritime, ticker symbol CTRM. They have a $482 million market cap. I wanted to go over some of the recent catalysts and give what I consider to be a really realistic price prediction for Caster Maritime. All right, guys, we're going to do a really brief overview. I know most of you already know this company. Caster Maritime is a dry bulk shipping company. The company was founded September 12, 2017. Their primary goal is to grow their fleet through acquisitions of new and modern vessels. And they have been they have been doing just that. So if we take a look at their fleet, they have nine magical dry bulk carriers and one tanker. So we're going to go over the recent news and catalysts. So on March 19th, Castro Maritime announces deliveries of the Magic Orion and the Magic Argo. We're going to dig a little bit deeper later on in the video. March 12th, Castor Maritime announces new vessel acquisition and the delivery of Wander Polaris. March 10th, Castor Maritime announces vessel acquisition. March 3rd, Castor Maritime announces delivery of Magic Venus and new charter agreement. February 18th, Castor Maritime announces vessel acquisition. February 11th, Castor Maritime announces acquisition of two tankers with time charters attached. So you can see they have been making major, major moves, acquisitions, as well as deliveries in this last month alone, including January, including December as well. So they are growing their fleet quite quickly. I believe that they will double their fleet again in 12 months time, and that could double the share price. I think that this company is really, really setting up for major growth and they're going to become profitable again in the very short term. So there are a lot of talks right now about a short squeeze and that is a possibility, but Castro Maritimes for me is a long-term play. If that short squeeze happens, that's amazing. That's great for all of us holding Castro Maritimes. However, if it doesn't, I don't think you should be upset or be too worried about it. I know a lot of people are banking on that short squeeze, but I see this as a very very positive long-term play. So if we go over this March 19th news, the Magic Orient is expected to commence employment under a time charter contract on around March 20th at a daily gross charter rate of 21,000 and an expected term of 35 days. The Magic Argo is expected to commence employment under a time charter contract around March 21st, a daily gross charter of 25,000 $25, and an expected term of about four months. So as these deliveries continue to commence, they're going to be bringing in more and more revenue, which is going to cause the company to become profitable once again. Not financial advice, just my opinion. <laughs> so if we can see how rapidly Castro is acquiring new vessels as well as deliveries, I do believe that this is a great long-term play. And we could see this fleet doubling, as I said, and I think the price will double as well within the next 12 months. So if we take a look at the institutional ownership in these last few months, you can see how much buying there is in green, which is an incredibly good sign. We have Anson Funds Management, almost 5 million shares. CV Holdings, 4 million shares. Savvy Management, almost 3 million shares. It's so important to know what the big boys are doing. The companies that they're investing in is a great sign that the company is going to do well. All right, guys, so it's currently sitting at 95 cents. So I think this is a good price to get in. We're always going to try to average down on this play. So we're going to do 300 sh shares in ex as an example, 100 shares in between 85 and 95 cents, 100 shares in between 60 and 75 cents, and 100 shares under 50 cents. I have finally taken a position in Castor Maritime as I see the long-term growth potential. So I'm going to give it a 12 month price target of in between $250 to $3 and a 24 month price target of $5 to $6. If you look back on the chart at 2019, before COVID put everything on hold, they were sitting in that $5 range and I think they could easily get back to there within the next 24 months. The short squeeze, it could happen. People have been talking about it for months now, but I think if you invest now and that short squeeze happens, that's awesome. You got to bank in on those profits. And if it doesn't, you have a great long-term investment in my opinion. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, join the Discord, and I will see you in the next one. Much love, guys. Take care.